what do I know? Anyway, you know what? Quickly, let's look at this clip. Actually, this is from Highlight Reel. It says Eric Griffin reacts to Brent Shaw and Bobby Lee Kalila drama. Was I the, again? Maybe I should ask up the, the stream chat this. Was I the only person that thought it was really weird that Eric tried to basically, um, you know, say that it's not, it's none of his business. I'm not getting involved when that whole business with what's his face. Let me actually end the post. Is the post, the post going? Let me know. Let me end it. Um, when that business with flipping and um, what's his face with um, Bobby Lee, Kalila and Brendan Shaw happened. Um, Eric Griffin was like, hey, I'm not getting involved in this. This is none of my business, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, no, it kind of is your business, isn't it? Bobby Lee's been your friend before Brendan was. And if anything, maybe I'm mistaken here, but if I was Bobby Lee and Eric Griffin kept on working with Brendan, considering what happened, I would be a little bit annoyed. Wouldn't you guys? Would you guys be a bit annoyed if that happened to you? If you were Bobby Lee and, you know, Eric basically kept on working with Brendan, especially considering how the whole Kyle thing played out, it would have been a bit crazy to me. And the fact that Eric Griffin was getting annoyed, I think this clip says it. The clip says, I think Eric Griffin was getting annoyed that the fans were asking him for a response. Like, why are you asking me for? I'm not involved, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, let me describing it. Let's play the video. I do remember this video from time ago. I think it's the right one. Let's see if we can play it here. Yeah? He was really, really upset that the fans were essentially asking him why he's not backing up his friend. <laughs> it's kind of wild. It is what it is. I've uh, been on Steve Lee's podcast a number of times. You know they're my friends. Andrew Santino, he's one of my best friends. Both Bobby and Andrew are coming to my wedding along with Steve. Um, you know, they're my friends. As you know now, I also, I am a regular on King and the Sting and now the Wing. King, Sting and the Wing. But I was a regular... You know what was funny about that era also? King Sting in the Wing for the longest time. Again, this is really, really pedantic, really anal and really losery things that I'm mentioning here because no one else with a life cares about this shit. But I'm pretty sure in the early days of King and the Sting and King and the Sting in the Wing, they, will, they wouldn't even put Eric Griffin's name in the flipping descriptions. He wouldn't be on the thumbnails or anything. Like they kind of, you know, they didn't really want to claim him like that. That's the really sad part about it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's the really sad, sad part about it. And he really fought to get his kind of place there. And eventually they kind of gave him some respect. And then, you know, here he is now, um, sucking on the teat of Brendan Schaub. On the show, I've been on Fire and the Kid a few times. I've, I've built a friendship with Brendan Schaub. Brendan is uh, also, you know, I consider Brendan a friend. Of course, I mean, we're not as close as I am with the other people, but, you know, it, it just takes time. You know, I had a very, I wouldn't say I had a contentious relationship with. It takes time to be friends with somebody. <laughs> it takes time to like, like them. Right? <laughs> I didn't like the guy at first. I thought he was a complete douchebag. But over time, it, I, I kind of started to like him. When he started putting some money in my pocket, when he started paying me to appear on his shitty fucking podcast, right? Then suddenly all my opinions about the guy changed. Honestly, these LA dudes are fucking incredible. <laughs> They're so funny. <laughs> Brendan at first, but you know, it, it started off with me being like, who the hell is this UFC fighter thinking he could be a comic? You know, you know, what's, come hold on. You know, what's funny about that as well? Like Brendan actually didn't even know who Eric Griffin was. And Eric Griffin saw him the first time and just hated him. That's just everything you know about Eric Griffin. He's like a certified hater, at least with us and us and the fellow homeless cats. We got to know of Brendan over time. Some of us were fans like myself. I was a fan of T-Fat K. I listened to it all the time. 10 minute podcasts. I loved the jokes, loved the funnies. It gave me a lot of flipping, you know, um, entertainment back in the day when I was working retail and needed some stuff to listen to when I was in the stock room, stacking boxes of shoes and shit. I loved it. And then over time, Brendan started getting on E. He started dyeing his hair white and shit wearing you know funny shoes and thinking he's a sneakhead because he likes to wear funky trainers and then suddenly the show went to shit but at least us we kind of listened to these guys and over time we're like you know what this guy's a bit of a dick eric griffin saw brendan one time <laughs> he didn't know him and instantly hated him <laughs> this guy is the personification of a hater like he's way worse than anybody on the freaking fire the kid subreddit i don't care what anyone says and what makes him worse too is that he has no principles no morals because as soon as brendan decided to pay him money everything about brendan that he hated it was okay now it didn't exist it didn't happen he retconned the entire thing anything that happened beforehand he retconned it entirely in insane since to change my tune about that because it obviously doesn't matter what people think about <laughs> someone's art if you think someone's funny or not it doesn't even matter that's not what sells tickets but that's what you said that's what you did 
he was insinuating about Brendan. Honestly, I wish I could fucking find the clip. He was insinuating, like, how does Brendan get gigged or something? Like, he didn't like him. I'm going to see if I can just Google it and it will come up. Let's see. Eric Griffin on my phone here. Eric Griffin, Brendan Shaw. Uh, let's see. Let's see, put hate. let's see what he says. Because I'm sure that video exists, man. I'm sure somebody must have posted it on the Final Kids subreddit. I'm sure. Uh, ba 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 no, 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 for 2009, finally saying everybody's saying, no, oh man, I'm sure it exists, I'm legitimately sure it exists, but anyway, let's play it. Whatever Brendan's got, his work ethic, whatever people like about him, <laughs> it, it works. Like he's about. on like five, six, seven shows, he's built the Thick Boy Network, he's got two uh, specials. This cope. <laughs> it's okay to just it's okay to say hey i'm cool with the guy and just keep it moving all of this cope and all of this flipping convincing of himself is just lame because he's the one that hated the guy first off of just appearances so i don't know who's trying to convince here whether you like him or not whether you think he's funny or not it doesn't matter people love to hate him people love to love him and they go see him he sells out places you know what i'm saying i'm still trying to get people to come watch me I'm a great comic. You hear what I'm saying? Listen to me. I'm a great comic. <laughs> Who's he talking to? This is such dorky behavior. Honestly, why are stand-up comedians so uncool? Like, what is this? Is this? Is this? This feels like he. This feels like what he does before he goes to auditions or something. But to come watch me, I'm a great comic. You hear what I'm saying? Listen to me. I'm a great comic. Listen, you're a great comic. <laughs> you're way funnier than Dave Chappelle. <laughs> You deserve to be who's that guy? Um, that guy that smashes everything. What's his fucking name? Oh, see, I fuck the joke's gone now. But the guy that smashes everything, the black guy with the afro that smashes everything when he does a show, I forgot his name. But he's the he thinks he probably deserves to be that guy. Okay, you gonna have a good time when you come to my show. I just gotta convince people to come to my show. So whatever he's got, he convinces people to come to his show. So whether you like him or not, I don't really care. He's changed my whole feeling about that. It don't matter what people think about someone. It don't matter if they're funny or not. All that matters is is that people come watch them. That's all that matters. Oh, yeah, yeah, true, true, true. Anyway, let's see this. I've kind of, I think I've got it here. I think I may have found it. I think the clip is called Eric Griffin talking about Shorb being sensitive. Yeah, I got it. I think I may have it. I think this may be the one. I'm pretty sure this is the one. So imagine, this is, the, this is what he was saying before. Let's hear what he says. Let's get up on here. Bear with me a second as I fucking load this motherfucker. Let's see. Let's see what this fucking Mr. Potato fucking man was saying. Let's see. This is from a few years ago, right? So let's put some, you know, let's put it into context. Shop's still mad at me from like when he, uh, I, the first time I ever seen him do comedy, I didn't even know him. Mm -hmm. I just heard like, oh, there's this UFC fighter doing comedy. Mm -hmm. So I'm watching his set, and it was way back, okay? And I'm just like, oh, it just annoyed me because because <laughs> he's this big. Uh, you see, he just hated him because of appearances. He didn't know the guy. He pretended to hide it. Like, he didn't know nothing about him. He heard about him, instantly hated about him. He, he hated Brendan simply from just hearing about him. Imagine that. Big up Austin Casey. Big up the fact that I have a feeling Brenda was a social bully at the comedy store days. Kinda like he thought he was big man on campus BC of Daddy Rogan. That probably caused a lot of hate back in those days of the comedy store. Yo, Casey, um, Austin Casey, you are completely right. I'm not taking anything away from that. You are 100% right. I'm sure Brendan was... I wouldn't even say a bully. I'm just sure he was, he let his nuts hang, as Takashi 6 9 would say. He let it be known, I'm the friend of Joe Rogan's, I'm a friend of Brian Callen's, and you're going to feel me today. You know what I mean? For sure. And um, I'm sure people kind of felt uncomfortable with that. I think they even mentioned before on, the tig on Tiger Belly, right? I think um, Bobby Lee mentioned a few times that he didn't like the vibe at Tiger Belly because it was kind of like a boys club. Um, it was kind of like the frat, the cool frat boy type of things. And, you know, the Joe Rogan's friends kind of made it their own club. And you guys were kind of like on the outside. So I'm sure that was the case. But I'm still saying this as I, as I maintain, because, you know, Eric Griffin's coping in the other clip. Eric Griffin didn't know Brendan and hated him. Then after, a, you know, some number of years, when Brendan starts to pay him, suddenly everything he hated about Brendan was okay. And then when Brendan tried to fuck Kalila, behind Bobby Lee's back, who's meant to be one of his best friends, he acted like 
people asking him, hey, his opinion on things or him to chime in was out of order and that he shouldn't be involved. But aren't you best friends with Bobby Lee? Don't you have any fucking loyalty to your friends? Allegedly, your friends. Now, suddenly someone pays you and all that loyalty they have with your friends is completely gone and you can't call out some real fuck shit because it was some fuck shit. No one's telling him to quit type King of the Sting, but just to, just to be like, he, that's the thing about that clip I'm going to show you. He was getting angry that the fans are asking him, hey, why aren't you saying anything about what happened to Brendan Lee, Brendan, Brendan Lee, Brendan Schaub and fucking Kalila? Why aren't you talking about it? That was pretty fucked up. He was getting upset that the fans were asking him. That's what I don't understand. Anyway, go back to this clip. Big up Austin Casey. I appreciate you muscular dude you know and now you're all, you're gonna do my thing <laughs> good luck yeah, no. you know what i mean get the fuck out of here the entitlement my thing the entitlement my thing the bitterness this guy is the original hater I, i'm gonna die on that hill eric griffin's a bigger hater than anybody out there because for me personally i do this stream for luck for shits and giggles i don't hate any of these people i find it entirely entertaining this to me is like my version of watching keeping up with the kardashians or love is blind and shit because i don't really watch reality tv like that it's just not my thing but i'm balls deep into this shit i'm balls deep into the no jumper shit i'm balls deep into the joe budden and neuroria more shit all of this kind of podcast personality drama i fucking live for it right but I don't hate none of these guys. I think it's fucking hilarious. I keep, I've said it plenty of times on here. I think Brendan Schaub is the modern American dream. He's been able to become a multi-millionaire being incredible, despite being like double digit IQ. That's pretty sick achievement. He's also done it like also without having the ability of knowing how to fucking use a computer. He doesn't even own one. He said it himself. You can't edit. He can't make thumbnails. He can't shoot. He can't record nothing. But he's become a multimillionaire, even though he's legitimately might have brain damage. That legitimately is quite admirable. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. So I find him funny as fuck. He's frustrating. Cool. But I don't hate the guy. This Eric Griffin guy has definite hate in his heart. I don't care what anyone says doing my thing so then i went up after him and i was like you know i was like oh yeah guys that was like if i start doing ufc fighting for no reason <laughs> <laughs> how would you feel if i was like i want to fight <laughs> wouldn't you be upset about it but so i don't know but i think he took it a little personal at the time because uh, then he went on rogan and talked about it yeah eric griffin was like boom, boom, boom. you know what i mean but that's just what we do like yeah. fucking shit on though. each other you know what i mean that's funny. Yeah. it's just a funny thing to say but like cut to like he's he's done a special he's got a successful podcast he's transitioned killing to the it, entertainment yeah. business you know he's killing it but it's like you know because it's, it's he's killing it that didn't sound like he was happy about that he's killing it oh, fucking cunt There's no right or wrong way to do this these days you know you find your path and you do it anyway that proves to me like I said before, that Eric Griffin's fucking full of shit, personally. I, he, he's still funny. You he, he, he just see him like this, but he's for sure full of shit. <laughs> Let's go back to that video <laughs> and see him getting angry at fans telling him why he's not chiming in with the whole with the whole thing that's happening. This is all. This is amazing content, honestly. I swear to God. Um, in terms of business, you know what I'm saying. You can all have your different tastes. So, anyways. I've, I've I've been on uh, King and the Sting now for it's I think it's you know it's been quite a it's been almost a year. Oh yeah, Uche, you're right. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Um, he did. And Bappa complained about Eric Griffin on Rogan. He did, didn't he? He said something like, "Oh, um, I think he doesn't like me or something." And then I think Joe had to had to like tell him like, "Yo, why are you are you are you sick in the head? You're a comedian. This is what we do. We bust each other's balls. It's not that deep." And but Brendan was legitimately concerned. Like, "Oh, does he like me?" <laughs> So I have a relationship with him too. Okay. That being said, there's some sort of drama going on that I have no I <laughs> You know, this is this is like a combination of like how do I have to say this is a combination of like cowardice and just like arrogance that I don't like in people. You know? Like He's so he's such a coward that he doesn't want to, you know, basically, I don't know, even confront or even talk about this issue with Brendan, I guess, or bring it up with Bobby Lee, or maybe he's in the bad place with Bobby Lee, or he's basically, you know, back in the side of Brendan in one way by refusing to talk about it and, and pretend like he doesn't know what's going on because he wants to protect his flipping paycheck with Brendan Schaub. It's quite cowardly. I am not privy to this drama. Other than yeah, right. 
it's spilling over into my world. So <laughs> Look how angry I didn't is. know what was going on. Look how angry he is. I didn't know. They don't, we don't talk. I don't. I didn't know what was happening. All right. <laughs> Look I didn't how know what was happening. Yeah. Right. And then all of a sudden, I'm getting hit up like, you know. So whatever happened between Bob. <laughs> he doesn't even want to say it. He's such a piece of shit. He's such a piece of shit. If the if the if the shoe was on the other foot, sorry, if it was the other way around, honestly, he would be pissed off, man. He would be so pissed off. Bobby, yes, big up Kalila Richie, Richie, and Brendan. However, they whatever happened, whatever <laughs> happened on Trash Tuesday, <laughs> whatever happened, you know what happened, you cunt. Day, whatever happened between Annie, who all these people, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He's such a coward. He's such a fucking coward, man. It's inc- this is the- and again, I'm only saying this, right? Because he started off hating Brendan. Then Brendan started to pay him and suddenly his loyalty to one of his best friends in Bobby Lee was completely put to one side and he pretended like he didn't see what was going on. He put the blinkers on or he put he buried his head in the sand and didn't want to acknowledge the fact that Brendan allegedly tried to fuck Kalala behind Bobby Lee's back. For him, that, that was okay. This is probably the reason why, again, I'm going to speak out of my ass here, but I'm going to quickly double check on you. I'm going to say it out loud first before I check. This, I think, might be the reason why him and Bobby Lee don't get on anymore. I know they've always had a bit of a contentious relationship but i feel like bobby um, eric griffin hasn't really been on tiger belly in a while um he hasn't been on what's that what, what's that show they've got um bad friends either in a while either or am i or am i mistaken he hasn't been on in quite some time that would make me think yeah it was a year ago maybe i don't know I'd, I'd, if it was me that would put a bit of a strain on my relationship i really want to be hanging out with the guy let's see what when, when was he last on bad friends I'm just checking out my phone when you was on Bad Friends. Bad Friends, Eric Griffin. Let's see when you was last on. He was last on Bad Friends two years ago. So this might be there might be some there might be some validity in my little theory there. This whole affair may have kind of led to the, you know, complete demise of Eric Griffin and Bobby Lee's relationship. Because if I'm Bobby Lee, legit, if I'm Bobby Lee, I know Bobby Lee's also a huge pussy. Also, he's not going to be the type of person to hold a grudge and to say like he's upset. He's going to pretend like he's not. But if I'm Bobby Lee, I'm going to be pissed off if, I, if 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 Eric Griffin is still friends with Brendan and working with him. It would make me not want to be friends with you because that guy tried to fuck my girlfriend, my wife. You know what I mean? It's like what? That big that big guy tried to fuck my wife. You know what I mean? He could legitimately kill me and fuck her if he wanted to. He could probably put me in. A, he could probably Brendan Shaw could probably hold Bobby Lee with one hand like away like that or by his head as he's fucking flipping Kalal if he wanted to right that's how flipping you know much disparity there is in size <laughs> so if I'm Bobby Lee I'll be annoyed but let's go back to Eric Griffin basically gaslighting his fans or audience for questioning his loyalty and it had nothing to do with me it has nothing to do with me and honestly <laughs> I don't care so however you don't care that Brenda tried to fuck Bobby Lee. This guy is the worst type of friend. <laughs> and I don't appreciate that the fact that the shit is public, that they're dealing with it the way they're dealing with it and making. Hold on. You don't know, you said. You said you don't know. Now you now you don't upset that they're dealing with it in public. Make your mind up. Money at, in the process of doing it. So, it just, it's, so it's like it's all for content, you know? So is that is that the moral ground you're trying to? Is that the moral hill you want to die on? The content shit. Okay. And so then it all it just riles up all the fans who think they're a part of it. <laughs> you people think you're a part of it. <laughs> Look how he's gaslighting us. He's gaslighting us. <laughs> you're not a part of it. You do not matter. <laughs> Regular civilians. You don't understand jokes. <laughs> How dare you comment on what we do? How dare you have an opinion on what we say? How dare you? These people don't care about you or your opinion. So you have... <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's funny because I'm sure if all the people that I've subbed him on Twitch said, okay, you don't care about us, we don't care about you, and they all unsubbed, he'd probably be upset, wouldn't he? All those people paying him, Whatever money they're paying him on Twitch, if they decided, you know what, if we if we if we're not important, we don't matter. Let's remove our flipping um five dollar subs or whatever and keep it moving. We don't matter, right? 
He, he wouldn't be happy about it, I don't think. Your own opinion, and then you're coming at me, <laughs> bullying me. Y'all are people. This guy's a fuck, honestly. Eric Griffin, you're a funny guy. You really are. Your stand up is pretty decent. You have some decent takes, but you are a fucking pussy. You legitimately are. If you feel like you're getting bullied <laughs> by people on the internet who are questioning why you're not backing up your best friend, alleged best friend in Bobby Lee, the guy you were fighting over on his podcast, you'd cry about him not replying back to your texts and speaking about how close you are and fighting for his love. Legitimately, you think bullying, yeah, exactly, as young old vibe said, asking a question equals bullying in your eyes. I'm sorry, Eric. I like you. You seem like a cool dude, but you're a fucking pussy. People are keep coming on my game stream. They're coming on my chat. They're coming on my Instagram. <laughs> they follow me everywhere. And they're bullying me. They're attacking me. They're coming on my stream. They're coming on my Instagram comments. Uh. I'm like, yo, where do you stand on this? As if it matters what, what you think. No, oh my god, let's go back to that again. Look at his face for us. Look, or keep coming on my game stream, they're coming on my chat, they're coming on my Instagram. Like, yo, where do you stand on this? As if it matters what you think. No, that's what, what an idiotic thing to say. If somebody's asking you where you stand on this, and again, they're only asking him about this because him and Bobby Leo are allegedly quite close, so you know, according to them, so it's only natural that fans will be like, hey. What do you think about this comedian guy that you work with trying to fuck one of your best friends, girlfriends behind his back? Like, doesn't that put you in a conflict of interest? Like, isn't that, doesn't that make things awkward? What do you, what do you think of it overall, just as a, from the outside looking in? That's like a, that's like an okay question to ask, isn't it? <laughs> that's like a, exactly a valid question. <laughs> you can answer it if you don't want to. You can say no comment. That's fair enough. But questioning the validity of it is insane. You're allowed to say no comment. You're allowed to say it's none of your business what I think about it. No problem. But questioning the validity of the question is like... Huh? <laughs> Eric Griffin loves Brendan Schaub's money. Money, 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 money. Basically, pay that guy enough and he will have your back forever. Anyway, let's take a final look at the poll and then I'll close it. Last count of the poll, 73 votes. You all think, um, what's that? You all think that Brendan Schaub and Chris Alea are not happy for Eric Griffin getting his gig at the Comedy Mothership, Joe Rogan's new club. Um, like I said, I will have to um, disagree with that. I definitely do think Chris Alea is happy for Eric. I think Brendan isn't, but we will continue. Thank you everyone for voting on the poll. Thank you for making my life amazing i appreciate all of you um and yeah let's move on